Right, I haven't done a video on this phone before, so if the quality is not as good as my normal videos, then I'm really sorry. I need to charge my camera, and I've been meaning to film this video for about a month now. The question is, what one tip would you give to sufferers like ourselves who have been newly diagnosed? My advice, honestly, be not to worry or think about it too much. A label that will enable you to get help and treatment for how you're feeling. So, my advice would be an opportunity rather than an issue. I don't know much about it, but are there any myths that people who are unfamiliar with this disorder should be aware of? I think the biggest myth surrounding borderline personality disorder is that people who have it have multiple personalities. This is something that's come up on my video hundreds of times in comments saying, oh, so what are your alters? And I, I, I was so confused when I was like, alters? That's just like not borderline personality disorder. Also, I, I'd say see it as something that just affects emotions. It is emotional dysregulation. So it's not even like it's, um, it's emotional dysregulation. It's not being unstable. I think another big misconception slash myth about it is that people with it are horrible people because I personally, not everyone, not everyone like it with this, but most people who, that I know that are diagnosed with borderline personality disorder see things very black and white. It's either good or bad. People can find them really hard to get on with, and that is so understandable. Like, I get bored at the same time, it's still a bit like, but not that hard to get on with, you know? So, do that as you will. What techniques do you use to control your disorder? Um, I'm currently on medication. I, I've tried therapy. I don't find therapy helpful because it triggers other stuff that I have. It triggers other mental illness that, I, that I'm diagnosed with. How can I know with? It triggers my PTSD when I do therapy because I have to talk about like triggering things and it, it triggers it a lot. Um, so I, I take medication. I think medication is probably my go-to answer for what treatment to go for. In terms of borderline personality disorder, a lot of people disagree. I wholeheartedly agree with medication. I think it is by far one of the best things to do when you have serious mental. I, I do quotation marks because all mental illness is serious, but I mean something that's going to be there forever and can't go away or you can't get back. If you know what I mean. So my point is here that medication has changed my life. I find it very hard to cope off medication. I, I, I don't know either. I do deny this a lot. Whenever I stop my own medication, I always, within literally a few days, I will regret it and be like, oh, fuck, what did I do? Like, why did I stop taking it? Medication has made me who I am today, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I've got a few questions here. What has been the, if you've done DBT, my question is, what what has been the most effective skill for you? I've done brief bits of DBT. I did a week long course last year, um, where I went to a unit and did a week long course on DBT coping skills to manage emotions. Personally, I that was the biggest waste of my time in history. I can see why it worked for people who are able to like implement those skills into their daily life, but when people like need it, and I don't see how a piece of paper could make a difference in my life. I really don't, so that's why I don't, I don't do therapy. If not, how do people, how do other people get when you tell them about personality disorders? Most of the time they don't. Um, they don't, yeah, because people don't, I don't tell people, they find, they find out about my diagnosis. They find out about my diagnosis when they watch my YouTube videos and they don't really react as such to me, I don't think. I don't know. I lost one of my friends one of the days. How did you feel when you were diagnosed with it? I cried. I made a documentary about my journey through one of my personality disorder and I will link that down below and also on the card because that did you know, that's that documentary did incredibly well. It's got 24,000 views at the moment and that is like, that is the same amount of viewers that I got last year. Like that is a lot of viewers. So I will link that there. That's like my date a story and journey and whatever. What are the stereotypes of BPD and are they true? Stereotype was, I don't think there are like, stereotypes as such. I mean, obviously you can Google like stereotypes and shit and I will put a screenshot on screen now of some. But in my opinion, the there for a reason. And I think the major issue with mental health is every case is different. Obviously, I've seen that similarities, but they're all different in terms of stereotypes. It, it's hard to pinpoint them. How did you first discover you had BPD and how did you handle the news? Like I said, I cried when I found out and I did record my journey. But in short, I discovered it after I took a large overdose and was in the hospital. Yeah, I'm not going to talk more about that because I don't need to be a triggering. What makes me happy? Um, quite a lot. I, I hang out with my friends a lot, like Dylan. You guys should know Dylan. This is Dylan. Dylan is friend. I'm going to drink with Dylan in three hours. Yeah. Dylan shows my hat and my shirt. Dylan. I'm doing the Dylan cosplay. Um, what makes me happy is hanging out with friends and being successful in my life. When I'm successful, I'm happy. When I'm failing, I'm your nightmare. Literal nightmare. I can be horrible. Like, I'm not even going to pretend I'm 100% nice all the time. Like, if something pisses me off, I am the worst nightmare. So, yeah. Um, this is something quick to Hey, about borderline personality disorder. I did this because my channel is based around borderline personality disorder and eating disorders. That is the channel. That's what it's based around. So I thought by doing this Q&A it would give you guys some insight into what it's like and 
more information about it um, and we'll leave some links down below about Bloodless because it's a borderline personality disorder and I will see you guys soon. I probably won't film any more videos on my phone apart from the vlog. I'm vlogging tonight, I think. My phone's charged. <laughs> Um, yeah, and um, right, I should probably put my phone on charge actually. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna. Uh, I need to take my hat. That actually hurt. I also like, bleached my hair yesterday, and. Yeah. Does my hair look cool now? Does my hair look cool? I'm gonna have a thumbnail.